It's time for some Russian badger, as opposed to Nordic badger, British badger. The most potent badger imaginable is, in fact, the Russian badger. Because instead of having sharp pointy teeth that they use to rip your guts out, they make you die from laughter. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are also watching this on the YouTube side, please make sure you go and watch the original video over on Russian Badger's channel and make sure you go like it as well. Uh, if you want to see any of my original content and keep up with my stuff, I do post that on my second channel as well. So make sure you subscribe and like this video as well to keep up with all of our future endeavors. Also, uh, I would like to know if you're watching this on YouTube, please let me know in the comments if you like this new overlay. I think it's a bit cleaner. It makes the it makes the whole video look a bit better. I am looking for your opinion. I, I, unlike unlike guys, I'm not like most VTubers who think you're all cringe and uh, don't take your opinion. Instead, I am a much superior VTuber where I pretend like I'm listening to your opinions and will ask for your opinions, only to then uh, completely ignore them and go under my own volition. <laughs> but please, by all means, tell me down below so I can ignore your comments entirely. Anyway, let's watch the video. Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard a That's not thing. <laughs> okay, so here's the checklist. We're waiting for a heavenly, a heavenly father moment. We're waiting oh, for uh, oh. inside of a haunted house, crawling with monsters. <laughs> Relatable moment. <laughs> with the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism. This is what minimum wage is like in the United. Is anyone noticing a slight consistency of games recently, all relating back to some exaggerated version of our own civilization? Lethal Company with its quota. Fallout with its dystopian future of America. Hell Divers being an over exaggerated version of America. It's like almost every game is just based off of how exaggerated can we make America. <laughs> States. Did you get a tattoo of me? <gasps> if you do, I will travel to you and kiss it. Furry in his basement, I am morally hey! obligated to play. Don't you talk so about the furry I've got locked in my basement. Oh. In my mailbox. Oh, it's yiffing time, I see. It's yiff o'clock. On pipe bomb. I'm not a furry. Oh, he way, that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamar. <laughs> I normally to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure yeah, you, yeah, Russian badger is most definitely the internet worse. is crippled hey, with uh, like an air horn to you? ADHD ridden <laughs> nonsense mind, due to TikTok. Yap about it for if you don't make a, vid a video on something within a week of it coming out, you've officially lost the ball. Drop the ball. Game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love going to work. And lest we remind ourselves, this game was made by one person. Helldivers, a game made by a very small studio. All of these games emphasizing the true epitome of gaming, outselling the shit of AAA. Fuck them. Fuck those AAA developers. Warn you in advance, this video is sponsored by Swouse. My brand new merch Swouse. collection on sale for a limited time, but I'm not going to tell you about it for like Swouse. eight more minutes because I don't want to interrupt I the love story. me some Swouse. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this oh company God, that, called The Company. The Half-Life sounds always sending. It's a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. 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 Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. <laughs> Truth is... Wow, guys, I don't know about you, but I feel like choosing option one. One's in chat if you want to the choose option one. To avoid your execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how scary things get, it is the only thing that matters. Hey, what's up, man? That and berating your teammates. You know you're going to be summarily executed into the void of space if you don't get a quota, right? <laughs> this may seem like just another boring five-letter word, Q-U-O-T-A, who cares? But the more you play this game, the more you realize it is so much more than that. You will oh, absolutely. I mean, it's like other important five-letter words, quota. like... Why do you hurtful? Uh, <laughs> money and dinero, dollar, earning. Did I mention I'm illiterate? <laughs> You will betray your best friends in the name of quote. Shut, what? Up, what? shut up, about your gifted subs. Shut up. Fuck. What? Did someone say gifted subs? Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's getting you. It's getting you. It's getting you, dog. Sorry. Start the ship. Start the fucking He's ship. Fine. Put the keys in the ignition, please. Very He's loud fine. and clear. I mean loud and clear. When I say it's quota or die. Yes, yeah, in the so zip so line, call that shit loud and clear. clear. Hit you in the end, you <laughs> quota is achieved by stealing. Repurposing <laughs> random junk from quote a band. <laughs> ah, wait, 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 wait. We can't say that. We can't say that. that. Sounds like treason. 
an industrial yes, repurposing. Move, it's not bad. It it's reason. merely oh. acquiring <laughs> what wasn't being used. <laughs> this crap, officially called scrap, is fantastic because it makes absolutely no sense. What makes no sense is this nuclear powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar of pickles can be worth more than an engine. A lamp can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Even the bodies sense, of your dead sense. teammates technically have a value. And in case you weren't already depressed, each and every one of you is worth five whole credits. What? Whoa, that's way more value than anything I'd ever be worth. <laughs> Cries and self-deprecation. <laughs> Why is this game's economy ah, let you trade five oh, human beings for a jar of pickles? <laughs> right. I bought you a gift. Yo, what's up? A jar of poop? Pickles? <laughs> Those are <laughs> Value is important, but weight is even more important because the heavier something is, the more it drains your stamina and hurts your region. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to keep an eye on. You can close doors on them, right? They can't open doors? Oh, they can't open doors! Oh my god! And these guys have an education. Of course they can open doors. Dumbass spider can't even I mean, who, open who's goofy odd doors. doors open with doors. Less than oh god, the spider has a possible system. <laughs> The five basic movements you'll make while scrapping, I like to call Spidey or Dips Dancing, scary as cats with opposable thumbs. We all know they're Love. trying to plot world I domination. Saw a monster out there. Scanning, which is super important. Also, every time I watch one of these videos, I'm always looking for people that, that I know. Why? One day yapping. I'll end up in a video of one of one of these videos. Is mandatory if you hope to survive. Aren't creatures like professional yappers? One day. One day. And I've been busy rushing back to our doctor. Most crap is one-handed, so to speak, because it doesn't restrict your character's action at all <laughs> this is a little horrifying but it's kind of soothing at the same time why am i so is simple why am i amused by fart noises inventory, climb ladders or pick up anything else with a perfect example being oh yes yo screaming as loud as you can okay that for real is one of the things that used to amuse me so much with uh lethal company is being is, go is going through the facility and then hearing the muffled screams of your teammates somewhere deeper in the facility, knowing they are getting by some abomination of the nth dimension. I want to hear it as loud as you can. Shoot it! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you actually had. Shoot And to be fair, that's what makes these, that's what makes these games, right? Shoot it's not about the game. Like, let's let's face it. Let's face it. If you were to play things like Phasmophobia, uh, Lethal Company, Demonologist, any of these like squad-based team games, off of the uh, validity of the game itself, they would get boring very quickly. The thing that makes things like Lethal Company, Content Warning, and all those things so fun is the bullshit that you get up to with your friends. I cannot count the amount of times that I've. Uh, lost my gourd through the nonsense my friends have done as opposed to the game scrap and the apparatus is a prime example this mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting so once you take it all the electricity is gone which means no more lights and an immediate wait spike that's what that does i always used to go and just take that instantly oh no wonder why people stopped inviting me to these things That was the reason why the power went out. Oh, I'm stupid. In radiation levels. I love grabbing and staying because it makes everybody's day worse. Yeah. Why am I so bad at games? I Maybe I actually played games more recently. Day, so me bad grabbing my car keys after 12 cores lights. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish this beer would stop telling me to drive. Which one of you fucks pulled the battery? Dude, is that the master chief? I was by myself picking shit up, and I was like, you know what? At least I can see where I'm going and make so many my way back. Well. And then all the fucking lights turned off. Okay, guys, uh, if if we get like 50 gifted subs, I'll play Lethal Company with the thick furry mod. I'm just saying, I I, I ain't no shill. I I ain't afraid of shill, and I <laughs> I ain't afraid of uh, selling out to get uh get to get some cringe ass shit going. And that's crazy. Anyway, you can call me an idiot anyway, for using it. They're the all dead. Oh no! Anyway, but my goals are beyond your understanding. Average mentality hey, of my hey, team. Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Oh, no. Get out of the way. Big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy on the move. <laughs> big expensive flashlight. Plenty of scrap has use beyond simply turning into credits to meet quota, like keys that unlock doors. I got a key for moments like this.
Hi. Oh, did absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. Never mind. For my personal favorite, stop signs. So I can beat the shit out of bugs using stolen government infrastructure. I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the junk you collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is... Why am I seeing myself in this video? I am junk. I am trash. Therefore, people give me credits because they feel sorry for me. Ergo, I meet my quota of cringe in the day. I am in this picture and I hate it. This is also a great thumbnail right here. <laughs> where the terminal comes in. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to quota. Because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and take... Right. Oh god. Uh, I skipped. I skipped. Ah! What did I do? Where, where, where was I? Where was I? Oh god, oh god, I mispressed, I mispressed. Uh, uh, where, where, where were we? Where were we? Where was it? There? Is that it? Oh no. Oh no, I goofed. The tentacle monster I goofed. Credit available to loot structure. I wish an ah, anomaly go, go. would right now. Okay. Me, you're in Ones trouble. in chat, if I am not the only- If you were also one of the people that used to just love the very ca uh, cathartic sound of this clickety-clackety keyboard, like, I don't know about you guys, but the, the sound of, like, very clickety, clickety, clackety keyboards completely activates my neurons. I am a very, very simple bitch. I... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's... Some, there's something about the way that we're wired that y there are certain types of people that will just have that Pavlonian response of hearing the clickety clackiness of very specific types of keyboards. It's like, it's like a cathartic sound, right? Some sounds just make you go goo goo. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever. Same reason why people like ASMR. Where you Keyboard go ASMR. The terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is. And trust me, weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick. Once you've made up your mind, you're typing route, then where you want to go, like the company building, so you can cash out your scrap. Much like all things in the I company, I still to this HQ day cannot figure out that terminal. To kill you. Turning in your scrap to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold. Don't do what I did and ring that bell too many times because I got so many of my teammates killed. <laughs> Hard credits, but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected. Oh god! <laughs> Some- but what if I want to be collected? Then somebody might finally love me! Somebody might finally give me physical attention. <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah, I need a okay. paycheck. I don't mean to like pause chat this. Someone in my chat just came in as a first time chatter and said, I'm new here, so I bring pineapple pizza as a peace offering. I don't know how antithetical you realize that comment is and whether you're just trying to start an argument. But pineapple pizza is not a peace offering. That is a instantaneous requirement for me to ban you from my channel. Pineapple pizza is more treason than working with the automatons in Helldivers. Just saying. The size of this paycheck not That's only depends great. on- Fantastic. Oh. Thank you for the bits. On what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, I'll pay crap. you 100% full price for your items. But any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction of their value. Sometimes 30 cents on the dollar. This is a bunch of math I don't care about. Sell whatever you want on any day you want. As I mean, long there are as so many things you could put on pizza other than Assuming pineapple that would that, not make me grimace. Holy shit, we like me, I can have pizza. Fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just say fun in my video games? I don't think so. Business. I don't think so. No funny. <laughs> Games allowed. You're supposed to be min maxing. Newfound credits come newfound options. A big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan that costs money if you want to land distant. on it. Like me with my crippling ADHD. Distant, like me after realizing that I've been streaming for nine years. Distant. Back up! Back up, bro! You're trash! That's a heavenly moment. You're trash! How much money did we pay to travel to this planet? The other major option for burning credits? Items. Ah, yes, I love games that I play with my friends! Only then get berated and reminded how terrible I am at games. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Russian Badger, that meme is older than most people in this chat currently. 
What? <laughs> what the Where'd fuck? my home dogs go? I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now. People love modding this shit. No, I think I downloaded the <laughs> Friends, right? I wish I had friends that invited me to games. My brand new limited time merch that took me two years to get right. And I'll tell you why. You see, I'm one of those Two years? Bitch, get at my level. It's taken me four off, years to get to a point where I'm even considering merch. But the problem with wearing Carhartt is that it makes me feel like I a chunk. frog. Yes, yes, I'm I'm yes, yes, if you're wearing a Carhartt hoodie and it's clean... You see, I don't think I would ever want to play a game like this on stream. Solely for the fact that I don't have the attention span to be able to pay attention. I would, I would get such sensory overload having that many people in a single room. Now, I would certainly do it as a YouTube thing with my friends out of, out of stream so I can actually focus on what the fuck I'm doing. Motherfucker that should be wearing a Carhartt hoodie. I do this hey. shit for a living. I'm not forklift certified, and I've never stepped foot. On okay, the that's it. I'm turned off. So Sorry. If you're not no forklift certified, the company form of a guy that works 37 hours a day. 35 hey, hours a motherfucking day. So to break free of this Carhartt prison, I tried every hoodie you can imagine, from streetwear to activewear, over the past two years, and I found the final what? form of hoodie. This is a like really weird example of out, buying on hoodies. Those beads of lint. <laughs> I didn't like polyester hoodies because of <laughs> synthetic fabric workout gear all Okay, is this a tizmy thing? Moving on from swouse to more serious items, we gotta talk about flashlights. Because in Lethal Company, you live and die by the flashlight. Who put a flashlight in the cabinet with 1% battery? I'm gonna crack the skull it was open. me. If you don't have a flashlight like to spot leaving mines, the toilet and rolls with a single ply of toilet paper to left on your it. Ass into an early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here somewhere. Wow, there's also this turret. <laughs> you died because no flash. That literally was my first ever experience playing the game. My first ever mission. I found a friggin' mine. And because it was shiny and flashy and had a red light, like a friggin' magpie, I was like, ooh, what's this? It looks like a mine. <laughs> Guess what? It was a mine. Like no bread alert. <laughs> These things are so critical that if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn, I really missed that flashlight. <laughs> There's a dipshit version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery. And if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, including flashlights, Actually valid. are bought via Very the terminal valid. and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list of what's good and what's bad. And what we talk about is definitely the vice. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that Sorry, is also Sorry, my, uh, my foxy ear wiggles are hit nothing. I know. So loud that I just can't use it. <laughs> well, all of you shut the it's fuck up. It's like listening up. to me whilst I stream. Constant verbal diarrhea. If you invite me to your collab, I will fill the airways with my constant drivel. Items can range from useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner, please? Who the fuck a toilet? <laughs> items with situational utility like performance enhancing. I'm medicine to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video. I was going to say something, but I think I'm going to avoid it for the time being. Amphetamines and helium. Oh, I got to hit it? Yo, prescription drugs. Definitely prescription. I'm putting <laughs> flashbangs in the same situational slash possibly useless category. Even though it's funny to flashbang isn't something it, Isn't it funny how much more long and jeopardy some of these games have with modding? Hard. Like, Lethal Company never probably, probably would have died months on before any monster. if people hadn't modded it. He's got a flashbang! To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. <laughs> Mop. Mop. Hey, look, I see. You, maybe it worked. Uh, oh. I think it died. I'm oh! Sure it died. Oh it's my dead. god! Oh, oh, that- no wonder they have a spider-friendly mode. That is horrifying. That looks like one of those horrible camel spiders. Ugh. I, I don't have arachnophobia, but that's horrifying. Why has it got so many legs? That's not a spider, that's a nightmare. I'm walking past this one. No, it's not. The only item more likely to betray your teammates than a flashbang is a ladder, because no matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe <laughs> as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking jump, drop it all. <laughs> I found out through personal experience the deadliness die. of ladders. <laughs> Just <a bad. laughs> yeah, not so funny now, are you? You want something truly useful? Buy a teleporter, which lets you yoink any player you are currently.
currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over Bobby's <laughs> shoulders. <laughs> this is this how are you doing this? this? Very important to do that because the company deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you Hi, leave behind. Hi, Hi, Antonio. As long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, ah, I still don't. Ah, the okay. stupid tax. Who's Don't getting check. excited? Stop, stop, stop. Hey, it's there's still there I know that guy. Which beams you from the I ship recognize a friend. Part of the facility, as scary as that sounds. Press the yellow button. Okay. All right, let's get in there. All right, we gotta go. That's the kind of stupid mentality that I just love hanging around. Yeah, Digi's a friend. Digi's a good guy. That is horrifying that all of them are now gone. The only major downside here is that items do not travel with you, so it's best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumb ass. <laughs> Wasting resources. I'm looting other sections of the map. Ooh, engine. <laughs> no way. I gotta see what happened. Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> Loaf. Loaf, can you hear me? He dead. Is we definitely did. Still alive in here? <laughs> that answers my question. I think I'm done here. And with that, it's time to move save on. Save him, to pussy. You save you him. You understand teamwork? It'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah. Co-op of what no, now? No, the other one that says. Cooperation. I've never had an operation in my life. I, I say you don't want a co-op one. Fuck dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company. But if you why are these models so thick though? I don't remember my I don't remember my uh, lethal company guy being that friggin' caked up. God damn! These models walking around with an entire bakery. Ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you know what? I think he's a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, you'll need to trust and cooperate with your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's gonna go off. So I think. Well, he... yeah, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> God damn. I thought you said this was tech. I thought you oh, said this was tech. Oh no, don't worry. I've seen all the thick Making models. I've seen the furry models. It's a fundamental part of what makes Lethal Company so addicting. Yeah, mods are what a keep a game running. Got a teammate, modding, if this game monster, didn't have modding, it would have died way sooner. You've got two choices. I mean, it's, the Close game's the not dead. It's still pretty popular. Die, Actually, that's a, that's a really fun question. How many, What's the game? this game's viewership like at the moment? Twitch.tv. Lethal Company. I mean, yeah, it's kind of died a bit. It's not that bad, but it's definitely died a bit. Unfortunately, that is kind of the, uh, that is the tendency with these kind of games is that they'll be around until pe whilst people have attention for them. And then the next big th team game will come out and then that game will have its time and then that'll die. Thing is, these kind of games, they'll still retain an audience and people will jump into them kind of like a party game every now and again but they won't be like the thing again. They'll have their moment, they'll fade, they'll have some people going back to playing them for the type of party game they are, and that's it. Thank you, Boop, for the uh, reset. Appreciate it. Keep yourself and all your other teammates These look like the Fortnite skins. Close on, Digi. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I haven't even gone near open content the door warning yet. For your sprinting teammate to potentially save his life, but run the risk of the monster getting inside and killing all I'll be real. Content open warning up, just looks up, like up, uh, discounting. Up, up, I know it's made by the this is a major reason why Lethal Company is incredible because weighing risks and constantly making yeah, no, absolutely. Like, decisions. That's the thing. These kind of these kind of party games they'll never die exciting. because they're just oh, a flavor. Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Close the door. Better hurry up! Better hurry up! Oh, he left him behind! He left Gary behind! Oh no! <laughs> 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 It's beneficial to have some pessimists on the team that may be a little negative, but also keep your feet on the ground with pragmatic decisions. Yeah, that's bad buzzing. I mean, that's, that is a mindset, right? These games are very much a flavor month kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't forget to balance out these negative players with hopeful optimists that bring enough energy and levity to keep the whole it's team going. It's about what they're doing for minimum wage. The teamwork dynamic radically changes if you some of these people are just here because they want to uh, go out with a bang. Popular and changes the team from a max of four players to forty players. And the more players you have, the less <laughs> teamwork is important. If you have a lobby exceeding 10 players, it's going to feel like you... Eventually, you have enough people in your lobby where in you have what is known as the disposable shield. Operation Human Shield. We'll need about half of you to go in there and just 
engage Operation Distract the Monsters. The other half will make for the objects and we'll just see who makes it out. I mean, you guys who have been deemed part of Human Shield, you are a sacrifice that I am willing to make. Up an entire Menards worth of contractors on the way to that moon. Yeah. Smoking on the Menards 2x4 bed. Oh, Menards 2x4s aren't even 2x4s anymore. They're 1.5 by 3.5s. I have like, yeah. 5 hours a motherfucking day. I do this shit for a living. You got some man. You got some man. 85 hours a motherfucking day. You got some man. 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 Yes, call me Susan and take my gun, brother. Now that I'm thinking about it, everything changes when you go beyond the default four players. A horror game isn't much of a horror game when you outnumber the monsters and- <laughs> It's like Dead by Daylight. All of a sudden, the monsters become- or the hunter becomes the hunted. It's so fucking funny. All you can hear is chatter about George W. Bush. I got a picture of George W. Bush that I kissed in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, just like me, for real, for real. I have a picture of Margaret Thatcher in my front room that I kiss every morning for good luck. <laughs> Yo, what were you Hello. saying about George Bush earlier before you cut? Thank you for the research. Yo, is that a scam train kind of uh, on the horizon that I see? It would be a shame if they were to start and interrupt my day, my my experience. Kiss a photo of George experience. Bush every morning. Herschel Walker and W. It's about time we got to the monsters anyway, because each one being unique adds yet another layer of complexity and, quite frankly, fun, if you ask me. Oh, oh my god, I really have to pee. Wait, I really have to pee back out of the This is so funny. When you on a moon, the day starts at 8.02 a.m. I gotta pee! And it's that Somebody piss for me, please. Go, 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 go. 725 an hour. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Because the ship will automatically leave you I'm behind at midnight, and as the day goes on, more and more monsters will spawn. Let's go. Yo, what the? <laughs> you might think you're built different after easy looting in the early game, but once the sun goes down, your likelihood of getting G-checked by a monster goes way up. Damn, I'll be recording that last thing. I'll, do, I'll watch it after. Different, man. I'm built different. That's right. I'm built different. I'm I've I'm got. I've got one sock that's missing. I've got a suspend around run. I've got, I've got, I've, I've got, uh, 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 hips and, uh, grippers. Big old wolfy grippers. See, I'm built different. I'm not like you humans. I'm not like you cringe ass flesh tubers. I'm different. I'm anime. I'm animated. I'm a wild animal. I'm terrified. I'm ready to rumble. Built distinctly, bro. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, no. Crazy? I was crazy once. The joy sound of death. I do love it. Keep in mind, gravity. I'm willing to bet that gravity kills more now? turns than any other but monster. But the, the, the number of gravity times doesn't I exist. Pushing people is. Ridiculous. I'm a gravity denier. No. Just like how the planet is uh, clearly flat. I didn't what? push him. I and mean, Australia I doesn't him, exist. But I didn't push him. Australia was a social experiment made by the government. I see. I'm gonna be real. Okay, okay, fine, fuckface. Spell suspicious. <laughs> you cannot spell suspicious. Alright. S. You go first. S U S P I C O. There's a U in there somewhere. A two U's? S U S E I C. Suck my day. <laughs> e. <laughs> Turrets are self explanatory, but mines have a little quirk. By this point, you've already seen so many deaths to landmines that they just aren't funny anymore. Mamma mia! <laughs> But what's interesting about them is that they don't detonate until you step off of them. You have to be on it. <laughs> oh, it's like that scene from, um, uh, the, 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 every single movie where somebody steps on a landmine and then everyone has to work at trying to get them off in there. They, they usually probably die or something. I, I don't know. Landmine scene. Ha <laughs> ha. La, la, landmine scene. Am I right, guys? So if you ever accidentally trigger one, you can save lives by getting your teammates out of the blast radius before you step off. Sacrifice Some yourself for the greater good. With, like hoarding bugs that will completely <gasps> leave you alone Yippee! if you drop them. Loose. Hey, come here, fuckface. There you go. No, no, no. There, there. Get out of here. He's, see, he's can I get a, a yippee if you enjoy loot bugs as much as I do? Bada literally gave one a gun and it immediately left him alone. 
I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take a shotgun. Negotiate. Negotiate. Okay, get out. Oh, no, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's pulling his cock out. I'm thinking that every monster can be negotiated with. Because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. I'm going to give him some Bracken just wants some necks. Stop that. Bracken is the most love beloved entity modding in this game. game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you call him Freddy Rizbear again, I'm gonna ban you. Jay -Z. But that's his name. That's his show name. What's up, my boy? Bro, I summoned him. That was me. Wait, is he that Nene? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long. But if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Oh, okay. I see that you I'm back off, buddy. Anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, 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 <laughs> he came back. He shattered short. Senor Bracken, come out to play. Yay. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Some monster interactions are just horseshit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death. Those things horrify me. Oh, oh my god! What? is that speed. I feel like Gary would be so hyped about Gary. this movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Fine. Oh, girl. I okay. still don't understand her. <laughs> All right, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. <laughs> she ran away because she's a scared little coward. See you later, scared chicken little shit, baby. Nomad child. For the most part, each monster has flaws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one! Oh, God. If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm going to say it super quietly. What the dog doing? <laughs> oh, look at me. I proc on sound. <laughs> stupid. You see, I'm too stupid as hell to understand that these monsters had weaknesses. So I just always run my friggin' heart out until I... Uh, to try and just get out. Uh, no, no surprise, I was never any help to my teammates. Ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. I will say this: you, you would, you would, you would be forgiven for thinking this game was an SCP uh, game with how the monsters are very SCP pilled. Oh, I could not get out. Uh, Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. It's so literally an SCP. One of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. <laughs> Cooperation, to bring that up again, is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. Uh, <laughs> well, can you close there's, doors there's, there's a few oh, videos from when I was playing no, the the company of oh, bullshit that we got up to. Oh, like, there is some hilarious <laughs> clips of me playing Do not. Company. With that exact reasoning. Do not go in there. Do you not mean? go in there. What, you mean in there? You, you want me... <laughs> Dude, this guy's as much of a brat as I am. You tell me not to do something, you can damn well bet your cotton socks I'm gonna be doing the exact opposite. Oh, don't go in there. You're just trying to hide the ice cream from me, aren't you? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go back to the ship. All right. So what happened? You You're all died. right. So um, you want to talk about that? <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. Badger this way, badger this you way. You a whole bit. Oh, oh wait. What if I went the other way? Fire escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I got this. I got this. Oh my god. I got this. Go frame of that scream. If you prefer <laughs> fight to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. It's an option, but you usually do it you abuse the AI. It's suited to a modded lobby with 10 guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh fuck. Nice. This <laughs> when the hunter becomes the hunted. Run away from the monsters game, not a Space Hulk, the monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Oh, I'm gonna gobble him. <laughs> run away, little boy! Run away! Tom and Jerry death scream. This might be the first video I've ever seen that from Russian Badger that doesn't have Heavenly Father in it. Where is that? Where is that wise cracking ass man? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Tom and Jerry looking <laughs> ass death. All right, look, I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. I'm sorry, that little animation just took me for a lay with the f- <laughs> That F little jump! 
Uh, I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. Am I <laughs> Far too simple for this life, I swear. Uh, Mega and Nin, thank you very much for the follows. <laughs> Whee! Look at him go! He's off into the adventure. Can out DPS you, and it always so the the to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem. I'm glad that I've prospered a community that are as simple-minded and easily as amused as I am. Right, Wait, I know I'm not the only person back laughing back at the bullshit that no one should laugh oh, at. He took, he took the whole ass <laughs> <laughs> deserved, absolutely deserved. He seemed pretty happy about it. And you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar, open I'ma be real. <laughs> I'ma be real. You a bottom bitch if you're the one relegated to command duty. It's the people that feel like they have an authority complex, but they're too pussy to put themselves in harm's way. These guys aren't the Giga Chad. These are the pussy ass bitches that don't want to commit to being an actual player. And give the follow void cowboy. And secure doors, and mega, you do what you gotta do, my dude. The They're essentially the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass is being drinking. Do not give him the keys. 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 Let him do some thoughts when. Let him do some thoughts when. My because humor. if they ever decide to take off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the show. I have... <clears throat> <clears throat> I have never prematurely made the ship leave the planet without double checking that there were other people that could have still gotten on. I have never in my entire time playing Lethal Company ever left a fellow uh, explorer behind. I am the best team player to have ever existed, and no one can prove me otherwise. Ah. Ship, and I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? I will be real. I have never felt guilty about people being angry at me in a video game, except in Lethal Company. I. The only time in my gaming career where I've actually felt self-conscious about griefing my teammates was in Lethal Company. And I know I said I've never done it, but that was a lie. I totally have. I have, on multiple occasions, prematurely made the escape pod leave the planet, only to then realize that I've left half the team still on the planet, thinking that I was the only one still alive. Which, if anything, that was more of a problem on, fault on their behalf for not communicating with me. I was in the ship looking at the cameras, and they just would never, they, they, they weren't communicating. They weren't telling me they were alive, so I assumed that everyone was dead, so I left. And after the third time this happened, people got fed up with me being in the ship looking at the cameras, so I got relegated to exploration duty. <laughs> You are such a stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? Thousands. Did you? We're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. I say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I think that those need to go away. This is not. If anything, it's not really what you would want to play with me. So you can always know that you're going to be the smartest than I am. You can always feel better about yourself knowing that I'm the lowest common denominator in your party. You can't leave the disrespectful space. Final question I'm sure you're asking, is Lethal Company scary? And the answer entirely depends on the settings. If you're on the big lobby mob like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this, you only get salt, pepper, ketchup, a little bit of poop, you know, the usual. No. It's not scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default Immersive. full player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or at the very least unsettled. This game, when I first played it for at least the first couple sessions, terrified the shit out of me. I am afraid of the dark. I am afraid of being on my own. The anxiety was through the roof. I required people, I, I required psychiatric help. I mean, I require psychiatric help at the best of times, but 
Especially after playing this for the first time. The game is. I never thought I'd unironically say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skullker is about to bully me, and, and, bully me and, and, me. and tell me I smell like beans for saying that word, but hear me out. You're playing the KV2, you smell like fucking beans, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like you smell like boing. Unlike a Discord call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel 3D uh -huh, with both uh -huh. distance and direction. If you're playing this in a Discord call, you a pussy. You a metagaming pussy. <laughs> that is fucking <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D. Remember that word, guys. It's a seven-point word in Scrabble. Like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got my swagger back. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. I feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm no. just totally lost. <laughs> They're all dead. That, that's what happened to me! I was sat there thinking, oh God, nobody's responding. That means everyone's dead. So I left, only to find out everyone was actually alive. Hello? They just hated me. I have never actually, felt so Actually, in, in one form of admittance, one of the times this happened, um, when I didn't get a response back from people, I made the ship leave and everyone started screaming at me, only to then look back at the clip of what happened. And I realized I forgot to turn my radio on. completely alone in my entire life. You get so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something and don't hear anything oh, back, Dude, that's is what haunting. used to trip me out so much. Your is dead, the night is getting darker, and the only noises this you can hear are This game actually literally is one of the creepiest games I've played from right all angles. Okay, I'm hearing big movement. Honestly, at this point, he didn't see me. I no, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Just leave the facility, Badger. What do you think I'm trying to do? I can't find my way out. Oh my god! Oh, okay. I'm not even playing and that jump scared me! That's what I mean! This game, when you're playing in a small party and you're in that facility by yourself, the second I ever got separated from my team, I became a massive, massive hermit. I would find a corner and I would sit in it until somebody else came to get me. I... I, I do not like the darkness or being alone in real life at the best of times. Knowing there's monsters that'll tear your gizzards apart, that sets my anxiety off to such a high, high end. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, was such a labyrinth, what? there was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of shit, bro. Like, Noise. Pound sides. Immersion. Keep <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. We are talking about... Uh, 100% forever alone, food. you are a dead man walking that they will never find. I'm never by myself. I'm never alone. Never. Just like you're never alone. Because I'm watching. Always watching. Always watching, Wazowski. Always watching. Not in a creepy way or anything. Not in a parasocial way. I'm just looking after you, clearly. I am blown away that this game was made by one right. guy, and you won't understand. And the fact that the the the, the, the fact that it, the fact that Russell's people's Jimmy so much is that it was a furry. The only way this could have rubbed it into the liberals' asses more is if it was a trans furry. Imagine imagine that the liberals being ah, oh, this game's amazing and it's a masterpiece and I love it, but it's made by a furry. Oh god, it's a trans furry. Oh god, I should hate everything about this because I'm such a leftist piece of sh. But you know what? I can look past it because the game's kind of based. <laughs> I can look past my discriminatory nature because I'm suck because the game's based. And the true extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things and just I eat it and it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat Try. the toilet either. That's just gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future, because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. Uh-huh. Look at him go! Yippee! Oh my god, dude. The introduction of the Devil Bear hey, bad the 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 reset, dude. monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous I have yet than a police to use the officer shotgun. hearing a falling acorn. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun. See, this is the problem. Yes, the gun could 100% be used to help your team, but it's equally as likely that it'll be used to kill your own teammates as well. Like, sure, it's a weapon of mass destruction that can uh, thwart the advances of anything coming your way. But that all depends on who picks it up, because if it's a sociopath like me, well, I certainly hope you've got insurance because I'm going to be claiming it, baby. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee <laughs> it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally. They just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. Thing is though, okay, in, in most games, right? When you add a gun, it removes any sense of danger and immersion. It's like, it's why Dead Space 3 wasn't really scary anymore. Like, the second you add too many guns and the ability to defend yourself, you're not really scared anymore because you can just kill what's hunting you. But with uh, Lethal Company, the gun is just as dangerous as the monsters and turns your teammates into the bad guy more often than not. You gotta sell the gun. You gotta, you gotta sell it. Yeah. Oh, seven. <laughs> What's even funnier is that there's a new item called the Dramatic Mask that is specifically designed for the purpose stuff. of turning teammates evil. As in, if you hold it up to your face, you can I, I am 100% assuring you guys, this game has been inspired by, by the SCP content. <laughs> And even that thing is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. <laughs> in the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcome is <laughs> this just wasn't, there, was just, there was no hesitation. Up, oh, shell into the shotgun, bam! No hesitation. Because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives but putting the power of god in the hands of an unreasonable teammate the outcomes may not be so positive you know what i don't even care i eat bullets i don't give a fuck let me have it <laughs> <laughs> i mean he got what he wanted G check him on that dog <laughs> the shotgun just talks to me sometimes you can't blame it on me please give me the shotgun i'm normal i can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun you got, guys one's in chat on. if you trust me with the shotgun uh, one's fun. in chat i have a gun little girls aren't good against you can guns. trust me uh, no, 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 no. i have uh, i have a forklift permit i'm forklift certified you know you can trust me with the shotgun I just wanted to tell him that I would solve his problem so badly. There's even a safety mechanic on this thing, because when it's loaded with the safety off, it can randomly fire. And not all of us agreed on safety rules. What happened down here? So my safety was on and I didn't manage to shoot, but Ooh. thankfully Mickey saved me. Hey, you can just turn the safety on. Guys, I'm totally trustworthy. Always off. What? I am a responsible If I make it back, oh no, I do great. Yeah, you leave, you leave. Sigrid is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerating any tomfoolery, alright? Sigrid is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? Oh my god, why is the thought previously unattainable? How did the what? Yeah, Dragon Ball just like get the fuck. Is that a scam if train on the horizon, I see? Locked in, it would be, would be a shame if somebody started a scam sentence. train and interrupted me again. What especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is massive, and it has no problem clapping multiple targets at once. Okay. Did he just say plap? Is massive, and it has no problem clapping multiple targets. Yeah, huh? Plapping, huh? I too like plapping my teammates. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't with a straight face. Damn, somebody killed me. all die from that? My most recent play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance Nah, he definitely said flapping. He definitely said flapping. Like, cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? 
Oh, that's. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I mean, when I see my ops. <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod, like Brutal Company, it ruins everything. Bruh. Bruh. Wait, yeah. Brutal also Company? Doesn't know that there's gonna be a mine under his feet in three, two, one, and. <laughs> Execution. It may be funny for a round or two, and it may make Twitch chat laugh, but that's only because you've made the game impossible. No, that's because Twitch chat is simple as shit and get amused by a freaking dog farting. The fact that you've given them stimulation more than that of a single brain organism should be a gift to them. So of course they're gonna laugh. No offense, Twitch chat. <laughs> Oh my god, Chad. That's probably the scariest thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. Limit test your patience more like. <laughs> But there comes a point where too much I laugh is because too it's this like kind of shit I do. Where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map. The big lobby mod has gone too far. Gary. Gary. Uh, bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. <laughs> yeah, we can. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? <laughs> 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 Instead of one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five? Five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. <laughs> this is Gary. Gary! Wrapping up here, I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs, to the bits, to the jokes. I used my neural link to exterminate every Kia Soul owner in existence. Oh, <laughs> Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. It's like the Honda Civic. It's born to be hated. That's hell. I don't want Chat to get a neural link. If Chat ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like Kingpin from Spider Verse. <laughs> I drink two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands. Okay, of I think that's the end of the video. And as much as I would like to let Russian Badger say shameless promote, this video is always already like an hour long. So. Lethal Company, it's good, it's lovely, it's awesome, it's great. I got a piss so fucking bad. So I'm gonna end this video by saying, like the video, subscribe, go check out Russian Badges content like you know you should do, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Assuming you don't drop by my Twitch chat and tell me how cringe I am. Otherwise, a woo! Or something, I don't fucking know, just subscribe. Bye!